Spyro the Dragon Creepypasta by Angel of the Triad I started up the game as usual, ready to play a little Spyro the Dragon. I started a new game, but it didn't give me the intro cutscene, at least, not the normal one. When I started my new save file, I was instantly greeted with Nasty Nork on his stand in a perfect front view. Then he started talking to me. You think this is a game, don't you? His voice was a lot more of a low growl than they had originally given him. Well then, let's play this little game. Spyro, your time is up. Then it gave me the Adventure Begins screen, and puts me in the usual starting position in Artisans. I walked forward instinctively to rescue the first dragon, but it wasn't there. The stand wasn't even there. Then I jumped off the bridge to the ground a few feet below, wondering why the dragon was not there. When I realized the enemies weren't there either, or the gems. Being somewhat adept to the knowledge of game design, I figured someone hacked in and modified data to get rid of all this stuff. I decided to quit the game and start a new file. Once I selected the quit game option in the menu, the same low growl came up. You cannot escape your fate, Spyro. Spyro, I taunted. How about you say my name if you're so bad? What, nothing? Yeah. I boasted. That's what I thought, hack. So I started a new game, was greeted with the same hacked cutscene, the same homeworld emptiness, and I decided to go and explore to see what else this guy did. That's when I saw him. Nasty Nork, standing across from me, below the bridge, clear as day. His color looked like it got tossed in a freaking blender, which proves it was a mere hack. They weren't able to get his correct textures due to the fact that they don't exist in this level. Your fate is sealed, uttered the low growl. Ooh, I remarked sarcastically. So scary. Then he started running at me. Instead of being frozen in fear like someone who doesn't know how hacking and modifying a game works, I pushed the flame button. He didn't react to it though, so I guess whoever worked on this game made Nasty Invincible. So I charged at him. Still nothing. What did I do next? I ran for a portal. As soon as I get through one, guess what happens? The game crashes. I chuckled at it. I popped the game out of my PS2. Hmm, I pondered. What a rare treat I have on my hands. A hacked version of a game designed to give someone a feeling of being in their very own creepypasta story. Even though it was basically unplayable now, I put it back in this case and stored it somewhere for safekeeping. It was my own little collector's item now. That was Spyro the Dragon Creepypasta. Final thoughts? Someone genuinely requested this because they thought it was a good story. I know a lot of people reading this are probably going to think this was some kind of troll story, but I really don't think it reads like one. Troll stories on average have no subtlety whatsoever and are terrible at keeping to the source material of other creepypasta. This didn't have that problem. This genuinely seemed like some guy's creepypasta that he wrote to seem tough and cool. My personal favorite part is when he says that he knows about game design, yet he thinks that if you take a character and put it in a stage he's not supposed to be in, the textures would be gone. They wouldn't. The textures would still be there. That's how textures work. I also love that he says that Nasty must be invincible, and then he tries to attack him right after. Awesome. That's it for this creepypasta, tune in again next time when I tackle yet another video game creepypasta. If you want to write your own story, help period edit a story, or even just read the stories early, check out the description where you'll find a link to the creepypasta section of my forum. You'll also find a link to the playlist of every creepypasta reading I've done. If you're interested in keeping up with me on my blog posts, join the Facebook fan page linked below. And if you want to support me and what I do, check out my Patreon page in the description. Remember that if you want to have your story read on the show, you must stay active on your post on the forum as well as read the forum rules. Thank you all for watching and until next time, sweet dreams.